Zechariah. If you guys did not see the post beforehand, we are recording this, so this is not live, but if you're wondering why it came late, it's because Facebook Live is not working tonight, so we're having to record it from the actual phone itself. As many of you know, I'm DK Morning, turned for all the police officers, firefighters, and board members whose life in a line of duty in 2020. And unfortunately, we're running, for, we're running for another sergeant who's passed away. And tonight, we're running for Sergeant Michael W. Clegg. He worked at the Newark Police Department in New Jersey, and his end of watch was May 10th, 2020, and lost his life after turning COVID-19 after confirmed exposure while in the line of duty. He was 53 years old at the time of his passing and served 27 years with the New York Police Department. He was assigned to the first precinct and leaves behind a mother and a sister. Tonight, I burned a blind flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around a track of my school, which is equal to one mile in his honor. I'm going to join my tonight by uh, three other runners, uh, one, su two su one supporter, one from the One Spring Explorers, and one from the Sanford Police Department, who will be running with me tonight. We're also joined by the Simla County Sheriff's Office, who will be patrolling as well tonight. Even though it seems like it's me and three others running, at the same time there's many more running, and it's all the phone I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirit tonight, including Sergeant Michael W. Clegg. Before running starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department that I've been going through, and they'll be on my way. that are tuned in tonight tonight's like actually running a second mile of the evening we apologize this mile can't be live streamed this facebook live is having issues um, however we are posting this uh, momentarily after the run is completed this mile once again in honor of another fallen hero from the newark police department in new jersey this time zachary is running to honor fallen sergeant michael w clegg end of watch may 10th 2020 tragically lost his life after contracting covid 19 as a result of exposure while on duty he was 53 years old at the time of his passing served 27 years as a member of the newark police department was assigned to the first precinct and leaves behind a mother as well as a sister Zachariah completing his first seven laps along with multiple runners tonight in honor of fallen sergeant Clark tonight. <laughs> so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out and help honor our fallen heroes alongside of Zechariah. Helping honor fallen Sergeant Michael Clegg tonight, we have a member of the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, our home county agency, as well as a member of the Sanford Police Department running with Zechariah, as well as other supporters. Once again, we're all here tonight to honor two heroes from the Newark Police Department. This mile in honor of fallen Sergeant Michael W. Clegg in the watch May the 10th, 2020. Unfortunately, also lost his life as a result of contracting COVID-19 while in the line of duty. 53 years old, so 27 years with the Newark Police Department, was assigned to the first precinct. He's behind a mother and sister. Zechariah, as well as all the runners tonight, completing lap two of seven to honor this fallen hero tonight. Every time Zechariah runs, he carries with him a unique flag. Each flag sent to the family of the hero that he's running to honor. This flag will be sent along with a handwritten note to the family of Fallen Sergeant Michael Clegg. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number 4 heroesorg to find out more. I'm going to go silent starting on this next lap. I'm going to remain silent for the duration of the run as we honor the life of this fallen hero tonight. Our hope and prayers that this run brings comfort and peace to the Clegg family as well as this sergeant's mother and sister and all those mourning the loss of this officer. Our prayers also go out to the entire Newark Police Department who's had to undergo the loss of two heroes as a result of COVID-19. May both of these runs tonight bring you comfort and peace 
And may we always remember the life of Fallen Sergeant Clegg tonight and always. God bless everybody with the Newark Police Department. God bless the Clegg family. Any final words for the family? I'm Fallen Sergeant Michael W. Clegg. I've been Fallen Sergeant Michael W. Clegg's whole family endeavored at the Newark Police Department, New Jersey Hills, in this hard time. 
um, during April and March and April and May, the New York Police Department in New York, I mean in New Jersey, had a terrible month, losing two officers from COVID-19 in the same precinct. Um, from what I heard, it sounds like it was uh, an outbreak, or close to an outbreak, among officers, and you know. It, it, COVID-19 outbreaks are common in these huge cities, but we still need police officers and firefighters to go out in these huge cities to protect the community. No matter if it's the biggest city in America, no matter if you have more than 50% chance of getting COVID-19 there, people still need officers, there still need to be officers in every single city protecting our community. And we need a lot in these huge cities because there's so much people in these big cities, including Newark, and there's lots of more crime. So I wanna thank, even though he's in heaven, People like Sergeant Michael W. Clegg, as well as Sergeant um, Michael Collin, Co Connors, for all the work he did, that he, then they, then, then both gentlemen did throughout their years of service, serving almost the same amount of years. Sergeant Clegg served 27 years, and Officer Connors served 26. That's an incredible amount of years to serve, especially in such a big department like Newark. So I pray with the help of the blue line flag, I'll be saying to the family. Um, if, if you're part of the family, and with the help of everybody who came out, the Winter Springs Explorers, Sanford Police Department, the one of my best friends who came out to hug me as well, and the Simulac County Sheriff's Office, uh, for everybody here tonight, we pray you'll be very soon, including my family. If you're a friend or a fallen family, or if you're a friend or a family member of this one here, we also pray you find comfort and heal from your sorrow and grief very soon. If you guys would like to join me in a 27 second moment of silence, each second dedicating one amazing thing you did, during his, every year of his service. Please do, because if you do join me, even the families do not see you, they'll be smiling because of you. So if you'd like to join me in a 27 second moment of silence, please do. Thank you very much for joining in a moment of silence. It'll truly help the families if you do join me in this run or in that moment of silence. I, um, I'm very sorry for that, that what just happened. Um, my sister hit the car when she was coming back to the car. So um, I'm very sorry for that. But if you thank you very much if you join in a moment of silence. It will truly help the families if you did join me, even if they did not see you. I pray you have a great night. And if you're first part of work tonight, please stay safe. Once again, thank you for watching. And I pray God blesses you all.